Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. And then Christ, by the gospel, and double imputation, taking our sin and granting to us his righteousness through faith, he gave dominion and stewardship over the house of the earth, not just the 17th dimension and spiritual la-la land, but the real world that God really promises to restore and redeem, the world that he loves. Jesus came and conquered the strong man, Satan, and gave that dominion and stewardship back to his church, the new Adam made alive in Christ Jesus through faith. And ever since that time, the mustard seed was planted and the tree has been on the rise. The leaven has been infiltrating the batch of dough and working through the whole thing more and more and more. Remember what Jesus himself says. It's in two different sections, but the cross-reference and seeing the, the connection, the correlation between the two is beautiful. Jesus says in one sense, in one place, that before a seed can live and grow into a tree, it first has to be buried under the earth and die. Then Jesus elsewhere speaks the parable of the mustard seed, the smallest of seeds, and yet it grows into a great tree that fills the whole earth to where all the birds find rest in its branches and the beasts of the field find shade and rest under the tree. And Jesus says that this seed, the smallest of seeds, in order, connecting these two texts now, in order for it to live, be resurrected, live a second time and grow into a tree, it first has to do what? It has to die and be planted in the ground. And what did Jesus do? He came to earth, he died, he was buried, and he has been sprouting ever since. And the church is his body, his hands and feet in the world. And you can just look at plain numerical evidence and say that the church has grown significantly over the last 2,000 years. And that has made a difference, not just spiritually, but that has had literal, physical, earthly implications over the last 2,000 years for virtually every nation on the planet. It has. I'm talking down to lifespans. I'm talking about justice and ethics and law. I'm talking about governments. Is there still plenty of corruption? Yes, but not like Assyria, not like Babylon, not like the Persians and the Medes, and not like Rome, which I believe was the fourth kingdom in Daniel chapter two, the last kingdom of man, and that great statue that has been broken and shattered by a rock a stone cut by no human hands. And that that stone, when it shattered all the kingdoms of the earth, that stone then began to grow into a great mountain that filled the whole world. And that mountain, this new spiritual kingdom that is filling the world is the church. And it's not just filling the heavens. It's filling the earth. It is. 